Alex, your goal earned City a point tonight. I bet you can't believe it's not all three, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had plenty of chances in the game to win it. Um, the lads have done really well, uh, creating chances. Obviously, we've matched their shape up tonight and played a diamond. Uh, it's worked really well. Els has ended up going out on the left, uh, hugging the touchline a bit more, and plenty of crosses were coming into the box. Obviously, it started with me and Cody and then finished with me and Dave. But, um, yeah, we were trying to get on the end of them. I think we gave that back four big problems throughout the night. Um, from set pieces, we were dangerous as well. It's just a shame we couldn't put more away and fair play to their keeper as well because he's pulled off some worldies. But yeah, glad to get that one goal in the end that, that got us the point. You've played up front with Cody Cook exclusively most of the season. He goes off fairly early on. You've got then a new strike partner, Dave Sims Burgess. How did you find playing up front with him? Yeah, Dave's uh, been brilliant since he's come in. He obviously was unlucky with his injury. Um, it kept him out for a while. But yeah, he offers something slightly different, I think, to me and Cody. He's, he's physical. He's probably more direct than me and Cody. Um, and when he comes on, his first touch is yes. a bicycle <laughs> kick that almost ends up in the top corner. And again, keepers pulled off a worldy save. So um, yeah, Cody's been brilliant as well with his goals, obviously, that he's provided this season. And, you know, he dug us out of some real tough spots with his goals as well. So hopefully his injury won't be won't be too long and, you know, he can get back in, into the fold. And it's been good with Dave coming in, providing a bit more competition, like you said, for, for that starting place up front. Said about Cody Cook's won us a lot of plaudits for his goals this season. He seems to score most of them away. You tend to do them at home. I think you've scored our last four now at, at Twerton Park. Uh, an extra buzz in the crowd here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't. I wasn't aware of that stat, so it's an interesting one. But yeah, I mean, again, the fans have come out tonight, and you know, we're we're not where we want to be in the league. Um, and fair play to them again for coming out on a on a cold Tuesday night and supporting us all the way until the end. I mean, you know, going going down the slope in the second half. It really does make the difference when you're trying to find that extra bit of energy. Um, the ball feels like it's getting sucked in towards the goal, like I said, on those set pieces. So, yeah, fair play to them. What was it like just during that half time into the fact we were training and playing so well? As a player, what sort of are you saying to yourself like, about getting back into this game? I mean, again, the, the penalty decision's gone against us. I think before then we were on top, um, creating a lot of chances. As I said, keepers pulled off a few saves, but really the mindset was nothing changes we we knew what we were doing we were sticking to the plan um and again coming out in the second half we just had to believe and, and stick to stick to how we were playing in the first half with that intensity aggression in our play um and like i said the the game plan really was to get the ball out wide as much as we could and, and load the crosses into the box for for me and dave did you have a goal target for this season number of goals yeah i mean ideally i wanted to get to to 15 in the league um, with it being my first season like full season playing at this level um, so I think that was my 10th goal there was one dubious one that might have been awarded I'm not sure um, <laughs> might have gone to Jordan Dyer I think earlier this season at home but um, yeah I mean I'm not too far away from that target now so if I can get to 15 that'd be great I know we, we, on a bit of a winless run at the moment back home here on Saturday against Hemel Hempstead time but surely performances like that we won't be winless much longer yeah, I mean, it's it's been a while since we've won. I think the last one was was Eastbourne mm. um, at home here. So, yeah, I mean, the boys are working hard. Everyone around the place is together. Um, f we're trying to get those three points as much as we can. We set some individual targets over the next uh, a few games, sort of how we're splitting the games out for the rest of the season, what our points objectives are um, from those games to obviously get what we need and, you know, to try and push on a bit higher up the table. So, yeah, again, we've... we've Nick the point tonight should have been three probably, but taking that on from the from the weekend, uh, you know, we're now trying to build on that and hopefully we'll get the three points on Saturday. Yeah, best of luck for Saturday. Thanks for talking to Cheers, us tonight. Thank you.